What are the worst blood types? Many people don't know their blood type. Even if you do know the type of blood coursing through your veins and arteries, you might not realize that your blood type can make you more prone to certain conditions and diseases compared to other blood types. One blood type stands out as the most dangerous of all. Do you have it? I hope not. In this video, I'll explain everything about blood types and the diseases linked to specific blood types. Is blood type nutrition scientifically backed? Stay tuned to the end to learn about the world's most dangerous blood type. As this topic is crucial for your health, it would be far easier for hospitals and blood centers if everyone shared the same blood type, but that's not the case. How do we determine our blood type? Blood groups are identified by the presence or absence of certain antigens. An antigen is a substance that can trigger an immune response when your body identifies it as foreign. Think of antigens as markers with our immune system acting as the gatekeeper. If the immune system recognizes the antigen as its own, it lets the cell pass. If not, it destroys the invader. Several blood type classifications exist, but most people only need to be concerned with two, the ABO and RH systems. The ABO system is determined by the presence or absence of two types of antigens, A or B on red blood cells. A person is type A if they have an A antigen, type B if they have a B antigen, AB if they have both, or O if they have neither. The RH classification depends on the presence, positive or absence, negative, of a protein called the RH factor. These classifications result in the eight most common blood groups. A positive or negative, B positive or negative, O positive or negative, and AB positive or negative. Do you know the world's most common blood type? It's O positive, followed by A positive, while AB negative is the rarest of the eight blood types. Knowing our blood type is especially important if we need a blood transfusion or want to donate blood. A blood transfusion can mean the difference between life and death for someone who has had a major accident, surgery, or severe illness. People might need blood due to accidents, major surgeries, premature birth, cancer or leukemia treatments, childbirth complications, gastrointestinal bleeding, or severe anemia like sickle cell anemia. For those with rare blood types, particularly AB negative and O negative, blood bank supplies can be limited. Despite O negative not being very rare, it's the universal red cell donor because it lacks surface antigens, allowing it to be accepted by any recipient. However, O negative donors can only receive O negative blood. A positive individuals are universal plasma donors as they lack circulating antibodies against A or B antigens and they can receive blood from anyone. As your immune system evolves, it makes antibodies against any antigen not present in your blood. Therefore, a person with type B blood receiving type A blood could have a fatal incompatibility reaction because the patient's plasma antibodies would attack the donated blood cells. Your blood type is inherited from your parents. For example, in my family, my blood type is B positive, and my wife's is also B positive, so our children can only be B or O type. Indeed, my daughter is O negative, and my son is B negative. A different type would suggest a mix-up at the maternity hospital. There are over 600 known antigens that can create rare blood types, but most of us have antigens that don't affect blood donation or reception. Imagine having blood so rare that only one in six million people could donate to you. Fewer than 50 people worldwide have this blood type and at least four live in Brazil, including two sisters. The most dangerous blood type of all is arch null or golden blood. Despite its name, it has no advantages and is quite rare with more fragile red blood cells. Individuals with RH null can only receive blood from other RH null donors. Do you know your blood type? If not, how do you find out? A complete blood count won't reveal it. You need a specific blood type test or you can donate blood to learn your type. By donating, you can save up to four lives each time. Now, I'll discuss the specifics of each blood type, but first, is there scientific proof for the blood type diet? Advocates claim some foods are better for your health based on blood type. A book from the 1990s, Eat Right for Your Type, suggested that type O individuals descended from hunters should eat more protein. 
Type A, the agricultural type, should follow a vegetarian diet. Type B, the nomadic type, can eat plants and most meats, avoiding chicken and pork and consuming some dairy. Type AB, a mix of A and B, should avoid processed foods. However, a 2013 study found no evidence supporting blood type diets. In Japan, there was a theory linking blood type to personality, akin to zodiac signs. Type A individuals were considered kind and demanding, while type B were seen as optimistic and independent. However, studies found no link between blood type and personality. Regarding diseases, a Harvard study found type O has a lower risk of heart disease, while type AB has the highest risk. As a cardiologist, I stress the importance of monitoring blood pressure, glucose, cholesterol, and lifestyle over blaming blood type for heart issues. Type O also has a lower stroke risk but is more prone to ulcers and skin cancer. Type A individuals have a higher risk of stomach cancer, possibly linked to stress hormone levels. Though we can't change our blood type, we can improve our lifestyle, exercise, avoid smoking, reduce stress, and sleep well. Enjoy your life to the fullest. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more health tips. Share this information with friends and family. Health knowledge is worth sharing. Until next time, stay healthy.